Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits uh, review. Today I'm going to be reviewing this fella from the Glamorgan Brewing Company. It's a Welsh pale brewed in Lant Trezant. If that's how you say it, probably got it totally wrong, but uh, you never know. 4.3%. So, um, it gives intro on the back in both Welsh and English, so that's good. I like that. That's that's a good thing. And it says, say hello, and it's uh, Shwe May, if that's how you pronounce it. Probably got it all wrong. I'm not Welsh, I'm English, sadly. Um, well, not sadly. I'm proud to be English. But I'm also proud to be British. A true British person. So, day off work today. Uh, wife's birthday. And uh, it is now half past ten at night. And I'm finally sitting down. Been out shopping all gallivanting this morning. Been for a... Uh, Buffet breakfast, bloody hell. I bought the large plate and I could have got away with the standard plate and I could hardly walk after I'd eaten that dinner. Good thing I went to the toilet later on in the day. I need, I need to make some room. Um, then I went to loads of shops, got some beers, got some um, some kits, sort of. And uh, tonight, been for a... a Meal at Miller and Carter, treat the wife, and then we went to watch Invisible Man. Oh my god, I've not watched a horror film for a while, um, and we'll go into it a little bit more because <sighs> so quite a light straw to gold coloured pour, white head. Good lacing around. <sighs> I'm getting a hoppy aroma, but I'm also getting a mixed aroma because I don't know if my drains need sorting out. Yeah, it's well in date, so it's not it's not it's not the better. It's for the drains. Oh, it's got some twang to it on the taste. So a, a light malt hoppy aroma. A little bit twangy on the aroma, if I'm being honest. And on the taste. Oh, it's the washing machine, dishwasher washing machine. Yeah, quite twangy on the taste, anyway. Getting back to this uh, Invisible Man, on on the adverts, you could see it was a more of a psychological thriller than one where these horror, a lot of these horror films these days, it's what you don't see that's more frightening than what you do see. And um, it got me. And I'll go back to last July, beginning of August. I had a massive issue underneath my house. We were hearing scratches. Uh, we didn't know what it was. Uh, we heard it underneath the underneath the house. We had rats underneath the house. They managed to get into the house, and the psychological effect on me. I was shit scared to go in my own kitchen, frightened to death. Walking downstairs, I was scared to bits. Worried about my family in the daytime, in case anything happened to them. Um, got a little baby around and uh, nothing ever got so far into my, you know, if say I'm dealing with an idiot at work and uh, yeah I've got one of them, um, that noise isn't helping either, because they're face to face I can deal with them and uh, you know put me face to face with anybody if I had to do something naughty to protect my family, I would do. You know, there's no doubt about it. But if you can't hear it and you can see it, and you, no, sorry, if you can't see it, but you can hear it, you can hear these things. 
One night I came downstairs and um, this was actually after we'd killed three rats. Ugh. And then I started doing the work, securing not only the house, putting rat poison down by the bucket load, uh, to securing outside. In the end, I've got rid of it totally. But I was in the kitchen one night and you know when you, you, got, you got noises coming from your fridge freezer, from, coming from your sink. Uh, wood expands in the daytime because obviously these are old houses so they're made of wood and all these noises and I tell you what I sat on the floor one night and I was there 45 minutes I was that polarised I couldn't get up and I was so psycholog psychologically beaten that my wife came downstairs and says what the hell were you doing and it broke me you know it like broke and then I, I went upstairs couldn't sleep at nights drank so much alcohol, it was unbelievable. Coming home at night, four o'clock, woofing down spirits, wine, anything, just to get me pissed and get me sleepy. And a very bad, very, very dark, bad place I was in. I wasn't ready for committing suicide or anything like that. But, you know, if, if, I, if ever I'd been on the brink, that was it. I could feel my blood boiling. And anyway, getting back to where I was today with this film, there were moments in this film where I'm having to do breathing, um, full on anxiety breathing, like, you know, just because it got me. So if you do go to watch it, it's not a bad film. Not gonna give any, any anything away, but um, there are some shocking moments, a bit brutal moments. So yeah, definitely a twangy bear. Um, got a bit of Welsh fire in there. Do you like what I did then? Dragon fire. Yeah. Oh, I had a bang on state tonight as well. Went to Miller and Carter, and, we, and I live in Nottingham, so. You know, it's not like London prices, we've got Nottingham prices. You pay 20, 25 quid each for a meal. That's, 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 you know, um, I won't say price, because people pay a lot more, but that's a decent price to pay for a meal. Tonight, our meal was 100 quid for a starter and a main, and a two bottle, two, two glasses of bubbly, uh, two glasses of wine for the wife, a no pint of Guinness for my good self. I was driving, so I have to be careful. And um, luckily, we got uh, the glasses for f us bubbly for free because um, uh, my wife got sent a birthday um, dude our email, so she got them for free. So that was good. But it still cost 90 quid. But the meal and the service was excellent. Sometimes it's worth treating yourself if you can afford to, obviously, because obviously money's hard for everybody. But earlier in the day, I got walloped for 418 quid for um, a chain on my wife's Skoda, it's got Skoda, and the engine management light came on. And uh, I thought, what the bloody hell is that? It's gone over 100,000, but if, with, with change, you don't need to, it's not like a, 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 a belt, a dry. A, timing belt you have to change them uh, otherwise they snap and then you knack your engine and there you go I says hey you can drive around on it it'll be all right and anyway, it got to a stage where it was getting rougher and rougher so they took it in took uh, took it off to replace it or try and do the tensioners and it fell into bits so we were very lucky not to have had to have a new car although my my uh, my little nest egg I keep to one side for, for beers and whatnot has absolutely truly been battered today. It's been a very expensive day. Maybe 600 quid's worth of spending today. Ouch. So, yeah, really twangy. Um, definitely a beer you know that you're drinking. It's not a piney twang, 
but it's like it's like a light pine twine, not a, not a full on heavy pine twine to it, but it's definitely got a bit of pine in there. And it's definitely making me sleepy as well. I don't think it'll take much tonight to be honest. I've been up since six o'clock this morning. It's half past ten minutes sat down. And uh, but good day, good day for the wife. And uh, surprise, there were some tickets, theme park, uh, not theme park tickets, um, theatre tickets. So that'll be great for her and a friend to go. I'm not going watching bloody Mamma Mia for three hours. Some twat singing ABBA songs. God no, no. There are limits in this world, you know, for what I'll, I will do. Ooh. Can't say as I've had any other Glamorgan Morgan beers. Obviously, don't really live anywhere near there. Um, the date on it's 31st of August 2020. So I may well have bought this last year when I went to um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach for the day and went in the local Morrison's up there because I picked up a load of beers I've not had before. Unfortunately, this year we've not gone to any theme parks and it's getting very worrying about going because everywhere is closing down and I've never known it like it. It's, uh, it's unparalleled. The the amount of panic in the world. I mean, my daughter went to um, Aldi tonight, the local Aldi, and everyone's been buying bloody toilet rolls all week and stocking up on them. Pasta, disinfectants, bleach, tablets. Now, now the tin stuff is going, tin food. Everyone's getting ready for full isolation. And uh, it's scary. I watched X-Files. Um, obviously 10 or more years ago now and it was all very much uh, conspiracy theories and that and it's like the world's in full, in, full on lockdown uh, because of this one which is basically yes it has killed people yes it is devastating to anybody who's lost anybody but a lot of people have come out of it the other side and been very well you know it's not a full on death uh, you know once you've gone you're dead you're not if you're old and you suffer with ill health, then there's a worry. My wife suffers with asthma, so there's a bit of a worry for us. But a lot of people have come out the other side, no problems. But the way the media's building it up, it's, it's, it's really staggering. Could you imagine the day somebody admits that there's aliens in this world? Jesus Christ, if this caused panic, what would that cause? Uh, sometimes people are better off not knowing because if they can't contain themselves um, and stop panicking, keep calm, be clean, you know, if you're going to get it, you'll get it. But flipping it, this, and then there's all the bullshit going around about, oh, if you drink lots of water, you'll kill it. No, you won't. It's, a, it's all rubbish. It's all spread by idiots. Uh, there's another thing about people drinking alcohol. If you drink alcohol, that kills it. And personally, I wish it did. But apparently, um, reading articles today, uh, there was something that happened in Iran, and uh, they drank some bootleg alcohol. God knows what they were drinking. And it killed 30 people. What the fuck were they were drinking? It killed 30 people. I mean, the world's gone mad. Oh, God. At least I'm normal. Well, as normal as you can be. Anyway, been a good chat. Let's get things off, off your chest. And uh, I hope I give people out there some um, amusement and something to think about as well. Sometimes you have to sit back and watch what other people do and think to yourself, my God, calm it down. I mean, anybody who's got anybody um, who's really old, for me, anybody over 60, needs to seriously think about coming away from the public life for a couple of weeks just to get out of the way of it. And in, in, in China now apparently that it's only had eight new cases and uh, there was an, uh, something shared on Facebook this afternoon, uh, an article from a book written in 1981 about a pneumonia type illness that's going to come in 2020, cause devastation 
and then disappear as quickly as it come and then six years later it's going to come back again to 2026 and it's like wow if that's true because there's a lot of bullshit about it if that is true that's a scary prediction unless somebody unless it's planned you know it does make you worry doesn't it Or viruses put into the world by governments to control populations. You, there's, I bet there's conspiracy theories out there about that. That the governments of the world, you know, uh, the, the secret governments of the world, um, plant this virus to lower the world's population. You know, it's, it's spooky and it's frightening in, in a lot of ways, if you believe any of that. But anyway, back to reality. I'm glad I've sowed the seed though. Um, straw to gold in colour. Good lacing, white head. Uh, molten hops on the nose. With a, there's a twang in that as well. Same on the taste, but there's a real good twang all the way down. Like a light piney twang. Um, for me, a good pub beer really. A good beer that sit on the draft in the pub. I wouldn't class it as a craft beer in that respect, but uh, different, not come across anything that tastes quite like this, but yeah, interesting nonetheless, out of five then, for the Welsh Pale, um, about 3.8 out of 5, not bad beer at all, and now to finish it off, cheers. Oh, not bad at all. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers.